prepare yourself because it's time to duel. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's me, Yemi the Ferret here, with another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's right. This episode of Yu-Gi-Oh, we are opening up the fists of the gadgets. Uh, booster box. That's right. Uh, fists of the gadgets. Booster box. Um, <clears throat> I am. <clears throat> I'm on the edge of. Uh, an illness. Uh, throat's been hurting all day, but I want to get this recorded and done while I still can. So I apologize for any, um, you know, gross things that happen. Uh, but the Fist of the Gadgets. There's five foil cards in every pack. There should be, I think there's an ultra rare in every pack, I believe. Maybe not. I don't re Maybe I'm not remembering correctly. But there are five foil cards in each pack with five cards per pack and 24 packs per box. Um, I believe this is the official TCG. Uh, we're not doing speed duels today, so you can use these in tournaments. Ooh, oh boy. So let's go ahead and turn on <coughs> this second camera. Yeah. camera here. There is Z-Box. Z-Box is it's a little clustered box, I would say. The one thing you that we're looking for in these box in these booster packs is the summon skull. I think there's like six variants of him. There's a link. There's a normal. There's a you know all the different kinds you can think of. And uh, so we'll see what we get. I'm not too familiar with anything really in this pack except for the gadgets because we we pulled a lot of gadgets back uh, when we did the Yugi and Kaiba. Uh, starter decks or collector boxes. Uh, pie, 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 excuse me, excuse my words. I don't think I'm going to be reading a lot today, so uh, I hope you guys don't mind. We're just going to kind of go through these. Um, I'll read the effects of ones, or maybe I won't read any at all. To be honest with you, I, I'm not feeling too hot. But let's go. Let's go ahead and jump right in, huh? We'll uh, do the official. Official. Uh, there we go. Ready to be. Ready to be sold at your local candy shop, right? What? <laughs> candy shop. Alright, so... <clears throat> first one, the packaging... Like I said, it, this actually looks a little bit better than the box itself. It's a little bit less uh, chaotic, I guess you would say. But still, is a little bit too... I would say it's a little bit too... Clustered for my, for my taste. But, eh, you know... I am just one ferret among... A million. All right, fresh, fresh new cards. Can't smell them. Can't smell them. All right. So first, we have the Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Spirit. And let, remember, all the cards are holographic in this one. Not all of them are worth money, but you might find uh, one or two that suits you. Here's the first one we get. We got a yellow gadget right off the bat. Yellow gadget. Uh, the gadgets can be good when used together. Uh, they're not awful cards. Gold gadget. I didn't even know there was a gold gadget. I'm learning new things every day. Gold gadget. And a swap cleric. So there is not an ultra rare in every pack, but that's okay. Swap cleric. Oh, wait. <laughs> I miscounted. One, two, three, four. Okay, so we got Archfiend's Ascent. So this is uh, one of the Summon Skull variants. This is an X, uh, XZ with an effect on it. Two level six monsters are required in order to get him out there. Not a bad looking card. I like the look of that card. Not bad at all. Put that in the uh, ultra rare pile. I don't know. The sickness has taken over me, just like Disturbed. <laughs> Hopefully we don't have any more flubs like that. That'd be pretty, pretty bad. All right, we got uh, Sub Terror Final Battle. Sub Terror Final Battle. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Bear. Kind of a cool looking card. We got a pendulum card called Animorphage Sloth. Oh, let me let me hit back a little bit. Apologize. And we got a Sub Terror Fiendus. And on the end is a Fire Formation Ingen. Fire Formation Ingen. 
It does have a lot more hollow on it than the other ones, but yeah, looks good. All right, next up. You see, I'm not up to date with a lot of things in Yu-Gi-Oh! The Speed Duels are my speed because they are uh, cards that I know, and it's a little bit simpler. But, uh, you know, I'm learning. I'm learning. Uh, so we got the Hidden City. I think that's a pretty good one. We got Silver Gadget. He's jumping the opposite direction of Gold and Gadget. We got another Yellow Gadget. Oh, spoiler alert. We got a Rasterler, Raster Liger. <laughs> Raster Liger. It's a Link Summon Monster. And on the end, we got the Archfiend's Call, which is a pretty sweet card. Pretty sweet. Get that shine in there. Pretty cool. And that is a Synchro Summon card. Alright. Let's open up another. Alright, we got Majesty Maiden, the true Draco Caster. The cards are sticking together a little bit. Talk Back Lancer. That's an interesting name. <laughs> Prohibit Snake. Snake. Latency. Alright. And on the end, Ultimate Fire Formation Sinto. Interesting. I'm trying to keep my hand to the center, and it's not working very well. <laughs> All right. Next up. All right. First, for starters, we got another Pendulum Monster, Amphromage Goliath. Interesting. I've, I've, like I said, I'm, I'm not well versed in the Pendulum, the Link Summoning, or anything like that. We've got a fusion monster called Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. Another Pendulum monster, Co Chronograph Sorcerer. Synet Conflict. And on the end. Ignis Heat, the true Drago Draco Warrior. Interesting. All right, maybe there is an. Uh, I mean, it's, I guess it, they. I guess you would call them ultra rares because if they're in every pack, it kind of reduces the value a little bit, don't you think? I guess it doesn't really matter in the end. In the end. All right, we got our first. Uh, this is our second double, right? We've had one double. Over. Side of conflict. Yeah, we had a yellow gadget. That's right. Code talker. We had back talker and now code talker. Boot up corporal. Command dynamo. Another silver gadget. And another archfiend's call. All right, we got two of those now. Interesting. Like I always say, I, I I don't mind doubles, but when they're on the end, I mind a little bit. All right, we got a what's it say? Shooting code talker. All right, shooting code talker. Got okay, another regular code talker. Another Amphromage Goliath. We got a Majesty Maiden, the true Draco caster. I believe we already got that one. And at the end, we got the Fire Fortress atop Ling Peak. Interesting. It's like a hill with a house at the top. What is next? Ah, we got the Boot Up Order Gear Charge. Not bad. Cyber Connect again, don't care. Shooting Talking Code. Ah, I said that wrong. Dynamo. And on the end, we got a Boot Up Admiral Destroyer Dynamo. That's a that's a new one. It's like a purple gadget. Cool looking card. I must say, these, these cards do look a little bit better in person. I'm watching this on the camera, and it doesn't look as good as you would think. 
All right, we got a latency again. Dynamite Knight, the true Drago fighter. Draco fighter. Cool looking dude. We got another uh, pendulum card. Affirmage Lech Lechfury. Lechfury. Talkback Lancer. And on the end, we got a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Eagle. All right, next up. Oh, hopefully you guys didn't see that. Talkback Lancer. Shooting code talker. Another Draco fighter, another Amphromage, and on the end, another Destroyer Dynamo. All right. Ah, we didn't do too good on opening that one. That's okay. All right, we got a Sinet Optimization. Brother of the Fire Fist Rooster. Yeah, there's like a rooster in the background. Kind of funny. Funny? Uh, that's awesome. <laughs> uh, Chronograph Sorcerer. It's a little dark, don't you think? Maybe just for my eyes. We got a red, a red gadget. Looks like there's a bit of a imperfection on him there. I don't know if you can see that on the camera. And on the end, we got a Boot Up Order Gear Force. Next up. We got another Swap Cleric. Fire Formation Tensu. Uh, another Red Gadget. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Rooster. And on the end, ooh, Archfiend's Ascent. That's a nice looking card. I think we already got that one, actually. It still looks pretty cool, though. It looks really cool. We're going to move the pile. Start a new one. <clears throat> Here we go. All right, we got a Fire Formation Yoko. Fire Formation Tensu. Oh, you saw that one. Uh, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Gorilla. Kind of see the gorilla in the background there. Scrap Recycler. Interesting looking one. And on the end, we got a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram. A little bit kind of hard to see the background on that one. Maybe at the right angle. All right. We're getting low on the stack. Ah. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Cardinal. That's a cool looking card. Uh, Sub Terror Final Battle. We already saw that one. Boot up, uh, boot up Corporal. Prohibit Snake. And on the end, a Brother of the Fire Fist Peacock. Cock, cock. Next up, we have a gold gadget, fire formation Tensu, starving venom fusion dragon, yellow gadget, and on the end we got a fire formation Tenkai, Tenki, Tenki. And in this pack, we got another Cardinal. Ooh, we got a Tiger King. Now, that's a cool looking card. I like the regular hollows better than the sparkly ones, I tell you what. Defcon Bird. It's a new one. Ah, we got the green gadget. We've got them all. I think. I don't think we got another. Uh, we probably did. And we got the Archfiend's Manifestation. Sweet. It'll go nicely with my collection. I've always liked Summon Skull. A lot of people think that Dark Magician is cooler than him. You know, I don't. 
I'd rather catch some flack for that, huh? All right, we got uh, Tiger King once again. Signet Optimization. L Face. That's a new one. Boot up order. And on the end, we got another tank Tanky? Fire Formation Tanky. Looks like we got about four or five more, maybe. Keep on going. Keep on trucking. Affirmage Lichery. Another Draco Fighter. Ah, this is a new one. Spool Code. Cool looking. Uh, final battle, and on the end, we got a boot up Gear Force once again. Straighten up my deck here. Deck. Ah, cards. This one opened pretty well. I actually don't mind that. Alright. Majesty Maiden the Drago Caster. Elphase. Fire Formation Yoko, that's a new one. There's like a boar and a llama? Goat? Not sure what that is. Another fusion there. And we got another Archfiend's Manifestation. That's a new one. Power Hold the Moving Battery. Kind of cool looking. We got a red gadget. Uh, another rooster. Defcon bird. And we got another swan. Firefighter swan. Fire fist. <laughs> Not firefighter. And looks like we got about four more, including this one. Alright, Fire Fist Gorilla, Tiger King, this is a new one, Beastmaster Cerberus, it's a Pendulum Monster, we got another Moving Battery, and on the end we got Fire Formation InGen. Three more, Trace Ma, Trace Mas. <laughs> All right, we got, um, whoop, hold on, there we go. Subterror Fiendus. A gold gadget. Moving battery. And Amphromage Goliath. And on the end, we got another Atop Lang Peak. I don't know if I like all the cards being holographic, you know, I think, uh, I think I like my regular cards to be regular. <laughs> this is a chronographic sorcerer. Got it. Uh, Firehead of the Fist Bear. Sub Terror Fiendus once again. Another Elf Phase. And on the end, we got a Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Ram again. And this is it. This is the last card. Just to prove it, there's the box. Alright, so last card pack here. Let's see what we get. I accidentally opened it the wrong way, but that's okay. It all works out in the end. All right, so we got a green gadget, a silver gadget, brother of the fire fist spirit, which I think we've gotten. Uh, first cardinal, and we got a code radiator. That's a new one. Code radiator. All right. Now that's going to do it for this Yu-Gi-Oh! episode. Once again, I apologize. I am kind of sick. Kind of sick. Not going to lie. Uh, probably shouldn't have done this yet. I'm getting all my germs on these fancy cards. I like the Arch I like the Arch Archfiend stuff in this. I need to kind of look into how it's all played, but uh, I'm sure I can. I'm sure I can figure it out. But yeah, lots of cool cards in here. Like I said, I don't know if I like all of them being holographic you know because i feel i feel like kind of defeats the purpose but uh you know whatever i am i'm kind i'm happy with this i'm happy with this so uh thanks for watching i hope you guys enjoyed uh more Yu-Gi-Oh card stuff coming up uh i got another 
booster box for the Scars of Battle. We'll be opening that soon. Um, same thing. I think we got a booster box. Or, no, we don't have another booster box. That's just that's the Scars of Battle is the only one that I have on the way right now. But we did pre-order the Bakura Legendary Duelist box, uh, which will be coming, I think, next year? I think, not next year, next month, or uh, relatively soon. I know it's relatively soon. But there's a good amount of stuff coming out. There's a new Speed Duel, there's new speed duel com stuff coming out soon uh, at the end of the year as well. So that'd be pretty cool. Anyways, I am Yemi the Ferret, and this has been... Rebuilding my deck.